Hi guys, so could this be the ultimate Apple Watch charger you are ever, ever going to need to use again? I'm going to do a full review on this, get a baseline of what it's like. Stick with us because honestly, I was looking for an Apple Watch charger. I don't like the lead, found this. I think it's going to work out wonders for anyone that has an Apple Watch. And this was it. So I ordered this from Amazon and it was about $27.99. I honestly was looking for an Apple Watch charger to take with me to work and I saw this. And to be honest with you, I don't think I am going to look back on this at all. The reviews have actually been very, very good. The actual device itself is smaller than what I thought it was going to be and it actually feels very light. We'll do a quick unboxing. I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but I do really want to get it put to the test. Now, nothing else in the box itself. The instructions, which we'll look at another day. And this is it. So just put that to one side. And let's peel this off. So obviously the um, magnetic uh, touchpad for the Apple Watch itself. It is light, it doesn't feel heavy at all. It's obviously got a key ring, so you can attach it to your keys or a backpack or basically travel with it, guys. So this is what I was looking at. Uh, one of my friends did not have a charger on them and was looking for a spare one. And I came across this on Amazon and I thought, well, best of both worlds. It looks like it can actually charge the device two times over. It's small, it's light enough to put on your keys or just keep it with you in the office or if you're going to travel around. Um, so looking at quick, they've got the power button there, uh, micro USB connector there. There is no lead supply for that, but is that a problem? No. I'll be honest with you guys, I have so many micro USB leads around that I truly wouldn't want another one. Honestly, I've got about 17 of them. So I don't think you're going to actually need that as well. Um, charging port there. So what I'll actually do, I've got a USB, micro USB lead here. So I'll go and plug that in. we we'll turn that on. And as you can probably see, it's charging. So out of the box, three lights already lit up. I'll have a quick look at the instructions just to have a, an idea. Um, the actual size of this is coming in about 53 millimeters length. Uh, looks like the height's about probably about 18 or so and about 40 millimeters in width but honestly it doesn't weigh much at all so I will actually attach it to my keys I am going to go and charge my Apple watch as it stands at the moment let's have a quick look I am on 61% okay 61% I've put this to use right now and what we'll do is we will come back so let's have a look so the time now is 9.32 so we'll charge this up 61%. I'll come back in about 30 minutes and we'll see what it's like. Uh, let's give you an idea. Let's take this off there because we know it's got battery. So there you go. So it's like that. Still got your date and time when you have it down in this mode. Uh, it's a landscape, I don't know. But it's working. It is charging. So let's leave this for the moment. Come back in about half an hour's time and let's see what percentage we're at. A few moments later. Okay, and it's now been half an hour, so what we'll do is we'll disconnect it from there. You've got your on and off switch there, so we'll just simply power that off, which has now gone off, and move there. Let's have a quick look at what, I'll just enter the code first, and then we will see, we're currently at 87% from 61, so I don't think that's too bad for a half hour charge. And as I said, it is basically a lightweight, portable battery to use as and when you need it so whether you're actually in the car you've gone traveling you're on an airplane for example and you've just realized that your Apple watch is just running out on power this could be the ideal solution for you it definitely isn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be it's actually to be honest with you it's better than what I thought it was going to be so I do recommend this no wires Obviously to recharge it, you plug it in there. I looked at the instructions and to recharge it from empty takes roughly about three hours. Um, I'll have to estimate that, whether that's fully correct or not, but three hours to fully charge this. And as you've seen, within half an hour, we've got up into the high 80s and 87%. Uh, 
I don't think you can argue with that at all. So is this the best charger? Tell you what, for the money, cable free, traveling, taking it with you, I think it's bloody good. So I definitely would recommend it. In fact, so much so, I'm actually gonna go and order a second one. And there you have it guys. So based on my opinion, this is a must have device for any Apple Watch owner. I have the original Apple Watch. I know Apple have now brought out the Series 1 and Series 2. The Series 1 having the upgraded processor that the Series 2 has, but for the original Apple Watch, this has worked fine. In fact, as I mentioned, I've actually gone ahead and ordered the second one now from Amazon as well, so I will put a link in the description on that. Remember, it's a 700 milliamp battery. It is light, it's about 50, 51 grams or so. Happy to go on some keys, keep it with you, or just take it in a travel pack. You'll love it. Honestly, I cannot think of anything negative to say about this at all. If you love the video, please give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated. If you've got any questions, please put them down in the comments. Again, I will answer every single comment that I get. And until next time, see you on the next video. Ooh,